It's the Frontier League. It's a 1-1 game. It's a ball slicing down the left field line. Fair, foul, doesn't matter. It's caught, and the fielder goes over the bridge bar sign, tumbles over. That's L.P. Peltier. Full name, Louis Philippe Peltier. If I had to guess, I'd say very French, but I'm not confident in my guess. Look at that. Sells himself out. Barrels. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It's brought to you by me. You're welcome. Texas Super Kings versus LA Knight Riders. Ali Khan's looking to get his second wicket in the over, and it's hit backwards, and oh my goodness, a diving, bobbling catch from Darone Davis for the Knight Riders gives Khan his second wicket in the over. He'd go on to get a hat trick, but you got to take a look at this. So it's just sliced backwards and in, he's full full horizontal doesn't grab it there grabs his own rebound before it hits the ground what a grab i mean if he had caught it on the fly without bobbling it would have been awesome but the fact that he has to regain control mid-flight super cool in baseball we had this one rob the home run out of the glove but it falls and he catches it. So similar, the baseball one is like way crazier only because he robbed a home run. Daron Davis didn't rob a six. But two great catches where the initial catch isn't where the catch is made, huh? Maybe you saw the baseball one. You probably missed the MLC one. Here's a situation you may have not seen before. Georgia and the Philippines are playing in the Olympic qualifiers. Georgia is up by three right now, but to advance to the next round, Georgia needs to win by 19 points. Otherwise, the Philippines advance, so they're just kind of hanging out and not a care in the world. We're losing by three. Whatever. At least we're not losing by 23. That's what they're saying. So there's 2.8 seconds to go. And Philippines are at the line now. They make the first one to make it a two-point game. So the announcers are like, well, what if they score on the wrong basket to tie it, send it to overtime? And that's exactly what he tried, and he missed it. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen a guy jump up and try to score on the wrong hoop intentionally to send it into overtime so they can try to blow out their opponent in overtime? Well, if you were watching uh, the Philippines in uh, the 2014 Asian games, they needed to win by 11 points and only ended up winning by two. And the Philippines scored on uh, Kazakhstan's hoop to cut their own lead by two, but couldn't force overtime. So if you were watching that game, you've seen this before. Now, do you think that this was a full effort and he genuinely missed, or do you think he couldn't commit to the play because he knew it was, eh, you know, you don't really, eh, do you really want to do that? The coach's reaction on the sidelines is, uh, uh, I don't know, just kind of like, whatever, okay. His reaction is, I can't believe that. Can't believe I missed that. Is he upset with him? Are they upset? I don't know. You weren't going to go in by 19 in overtime, you know, so kind of humiliate yourself just to not do it again. But I'd never seen that. I didn't watch the 2014 Asia Games between the Philippines and Kazakhstan, so I'd never seen this. Next up, we have hurling. You guys know I love when we do hurling on this show. Cork versus Limerick. Limerick is trying for the five-peat in green. They're trying to win five All-Ireland Senior Hurling Championships in a row. It's never been done before. There were 82,000 people in attendance at this match, the most ever for a semifinal in the All-Ireland Hurling. And Cork is up 11-9. to nine. Limerick not winning. And the star of this game is the Cork goaltender, Patrick Collins. It is awesome. So if you've never seen it before, you know, they call the ball the slither. And you got to run. You can only take so many steps before you either bounce it off your, um, they don't call it a paddle, but I'm going to say the wrong word. Anyway, look at the goal. He just runs out and takes it off the body to block that goal and then follows the play the entire way. Turn, shoot. Goalie's there again. How did he do it? How is he everywhere all at once? Well, he's Patrick Collins. Watch this. Reads the play perfectly. Puts his body in the line. Gets hit. Follows the play. Doesn't skip a beat. Follows the pass. Boom. Again, I'm Patrick Collins. I'm the goalie. You're not winning five in a row. Not on my watch. Bam. That had to hurt. It's not a softball. Had to hurt. Had to hurt. Later on, Limerick pressing forward again. They're down by four now. So a goal is worth three. 
And then uh, if you get it in the net, if you go in between the posts, and another save by Collins. Just another beautiful save. Look at this. Three points, make it a one-goal game. No. Denied. Awesome. Boom. And boink. Not today. Five, Pete. Not on my watch. The crowd just kind of dying in the background. And right off that save, Cork's going to grab the ball as the game's winding down. They're going to get it to about midfield, I think, and then bam, I'm further than midfield? That's Declan Dalton. Uh, he just whacked that for one, and now Cork goes up by five rather than it be a one-point game if that save was not made. Cork goes on to win 31-29. to Their turn to win five in a row. Let's do it. They started off well. One. One. Fun sport. And the games are quick. They're like an hour long, I think. Next up, we're going to the KBO, Korean Baseball Organization, KT Wiz at Hanwha Eagles. Five to three. The Wiz are up. There's runners on the corners. And now a run comes home. And I think there's going to be runners on the corners again. And the crowd is saying, yeah. Oh, I like that they got the personal fans back there. That guy, he's, he's, he's happier than those guys because he's got a personal fan. Coach looks on, says, you know what? Let's, let's throw a bunt down. Yeah, throw that bunt down. One try. Give me one attempt. Bam. Throws the bunt down. The run's going to score. The game's going to tie. They throw it to first. It can't catch it. It goes into the outfield. They keep running. The outfielder says, I got it. Psych, I'm going to overrun it. Turns around. He throws it home now where the catcher says, I got it. No, psych, I don't have it. And then the batter rounds Third, runs home for the Little League inside the park home run. Fans go crazy. Pitcher goes insane. What the hell is that? I like those mini bats. I want those. That sign, no one's reading that sign. It's too small. I mean, maybe maybe if I could read that language, I would be able to read it, but it looks tiny. I mean, it's not even holding above her head. Good camera work to find that. He busts it down the line and watch the coach's reaction. He's thrilled throughout the whole entire thing. He says, this is exactly what I said was going to happen. I just wanted that bunt, and now look. Now look, we've taken... A two-run lead. And can you see the joy on my face? Can you see the excitement? I'm the manager of the KT Wiz. Psych! I'm the manager of the Hanwha Eagles, and we did not get swept. They actually went on to win this game 13-5. to If they lost, they would have got swept. So thank you very much for tuning in. As always, appreciate you. And vote Fan of the Week. Who do you got? We got some kids. We got the bats, the little bats in the jersey. That's fun. That's fun. But that kid fit solid fist pump. And the bottom right, solid clapping. Just alligator chops crocodile you get what i'm saying thank you very much for tuning in appreciate you guys subscribe if you enjoy the show we'll be back next week goodbye